Mixtapes and DVDs is my era Facts. We did it better yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers Facts. ACG Boots uh. We 80s babies Ooh. In early 90s When it got grimy I was out of this world You could not find no. me Unless you check the lobby Hustling was my hobby Damn. We was lobby boys yep. Before Jim Jones no. You could catch me at Harlem Eating Jim Bones uh. Now in the DVD era, battle rap played a big part of the culture, made popular mainly by Smack DVDs, where you got a chance to see underground videos for some of your favorite hip-hop artists. And at the end of the DVD, they have a battle from two up-and-coming rappers trying to get some exposure and make a name for themselves. Now one person who became very popular in the DVD era for battling on Smack would be Murder Mook, from his battle with Loaded Lux, Party Yardy, J Mills or even Sirius Jones and whether you felt he won or lost these battles he still became the most famous battle rapper and is still looked at as the face of battle rap till this day. Now as battle rap started to become a big thing there would be a clip that go viral before going viral was even a thing. Now that clip that would go viral would be Mav Hoffa swinging on Philly rapper Dose for getting too close in his face and starting a big brawl. Now this altercation alone would have Mav become very popular in battle rap which would lead to a battle with T-Rex who Mav was originally expecting to battle the day he battled Dose and ended up swinging on him. Now this battle between T-Rex and Mav Hoffa would be the launch to smack URL L League and during the promo for this battle it'll be a lot of back and forth between Math Crew NYB and T-Rex Crew Dot Mob. Now one of the situations with Dot Mob and NYB going back and forth that'll stand out will be Dot Mob member Louis the 13 making allegations towards Math Manhood. I saw a he and, uh, she cause I don't know what it was with an yeah. I Love Math Hoffa t-shirt on. Now after that video was released Mav will run into Louis the 13 and have him apologize on camera for getting him caught up in them accusations. Okay, he's apologizing. Okay, he's apologizing. Now, Mav and T-Rex would eventually battle each other, and even after the battle, it still would be tension in the air between the two crews. And this battle was also the cause of the whole situation with Mav and Philly rapper Tone Trump. I did a video explaining this whole situation, and I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out. Now, supposedly, while the tension was still in the air because Mook didn't want to battle Mav, a fight would break out in SOBs with Mav and Murder Mook. And supposedly, Mav half a pistol with Murder Moot during the fight. Now, the situation was talked about in plenty of battles, and Cortez, the battle rapper, even said he's the one who passed the gun to Mav, the pistol with Murder Moot with. See what y'all niggas mad I passed at the Mav, which I was all shot. Well, tell Tay Rock it was the realest line in a battle, whether I lost or not. Now, Mav Hoffa would speak on this whole situation in his battle against Calico, who brung this whole situation up in his battle against K-Shine. Did he catch the on the block and went <laughs> on his top? Now, being that Murder Mook supposedly was the victim in this whole situation, I kind of lean towards his story and feel like his story is more factual. Now, he speaks about this in his battle against Iron Solomon, and he says basically he was jumped by Mav and one of his homeboys, and he basically held it down. If you one fighting two, and one of them got the gun, and you still getting busy, they don't knock you down, you don't run, you don't get shot, have to go to the dot, then you won. Now, after the whole altercation with Mav and murder, Mook is rumored that Mav was in the clothing store in Harlem. And Math will be jumped by some guys on behalf of Murder Mook. Do y'all want to know how bad they said that Math got pounded on? They said they hit that so many racks of clothes when they was finished, he had a whole new outfit on. Now the back and forth between Math and Murder Mook wouldn't last too long, and these two will actually squash their beef and do a freestyle video together for Ted Smooth. What's up? What's up? Tell me. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, hold on, nah, nah, nah. We ain't doing that here. Now, Murder Mook's cousin T-Rex would be on my expert opinion with Math, and they spoke about their past issues and run-ins. And Murder Mook himself was on my expert opinion about three times, and Math and Murder Mook actually appeared on Drink Champs together, so it seemed like whatever problems they had was well behind them. But Murder Mook and Math would fall out again after Math felt like Murder Mook purposely didn't battle him on Drake's URL card. And this is what Math had to say about it. Mook Lux, let's keep it a hundred. Y'all niggas for me. <laughs> Y'all niggas with me. And I've always known that. So basically, Mav feel like Murder Mook and Loaded Lux really don't rock with him because he ain't come up with them in Harlem. And he's an outsider being that he's from Brooklyn. 
But I do say this, math up to celebrity status and him and Murder Mook will break the internet and the pay-per-view will go crazy. You know how much money you will make off this battle in this day and age. Math versus Mook need to be done. They need to be booked. ARP, book this battle. Murder Mook, stop running if you run it. Do this battle. URL, book this battle. But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend to tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. More content coming, and I'm out. One. <laughs>